This is my friend's Tony's Gentle Bike X20 he bought one year ago. Since he's bought it, he's been bringing it to me to fix because he's been having problems with it ever since he bought it. This gentle bike is one years old. His problems started a couple weeks. They were minor. Within six months, they got worse. He's contacted the seller off of AliExpress. Unfortunately, the major problems that they started having, um, the warranty wouldn't cover it because the warranty was only for six months and it took six months to actually arrive after purchase. Even though they guarantee it in 90 days, they wouldn't return his money. So let's go at problem number one. There's supposed to be a fender here. They gave him three of them. The fenders kept vibrating and kept breaking off. Now this didn't have a handle. He had to pay $50 on AliExpress to buy this handle from Mini Motors because this thing is really, really heavy. The other problem he had was with the switch. Uh, within three months, it stopped working. We ended up having to order another one and it took 45 days to get here. He had to pay for it out of pocket. When I took the original one apart, the original one, I found out that the magnet came loose and that's why it stopped working. So I ended up just gluing the magnet back into place. So now he has a backup. The other problem that he started having is this whole stem started shaking and moving really, really bad. And to find out that this suspension bar that goes up here and then gets bolted down with this fly ring, I guess it is, this whole suspension arm, because it kept getting loose, the fly ring started to, I guess, rub against it the wrong way and it stripped it. So then there was no way to tighten it anymore because it all got stripped. This whole part cost him $160 to replace it. And it wasn't under warranty. Unfortunately, Jano Bike could not replace any of the parts. Although I thought they said that he told me that they were a distributor uh, or an actual uh, factory. But they're not. We had to go to Xtron and they were able to supply us with all the parts that this that this scooter needed. Um, after replacing this, the locking mechanism ended up cracking and on one of his rides completely broke off. Thing just split in half and broke off on him. So we had to order a new locking mechanism. Unfortunately, these things are really, really thin. And the problem with this new locking mechanism that we got from Xtron is that as if you can see the gap right there, what happens is as you're riding, this thing starts sliding up and up and up as you ride. You have to stop riding every once in a while and you have to tighten it. You have to open it up, push it down, and then tighten it back down again. So you have to be really careful because like I said, it just starts sliding up. Now the other problem that he has is that the stem, it's kind of tight right now, but what happens is after about a week, the bolt that goes right in there and comes around to this side right here, that gets loose. And so he has to constantly tighten it. But what happens is as you're tightening it, you have to use an Allen wrench and eventually you end up stripping the inside of that Allen hole. And so then you have to re uh, replace the whole bolts and they're not easy to find. It's a specialty item. 
and that boat costs six dollars this is his third one the other problem this thing has is the bearings that are in here really poor horrible bearings basically i'm gonna have to take it apart remove remove the casing that holds the bearings on each side and then put the bearing case the new bearing casings in and the brand new bearings which are going to be upgraded uh, once they come in from from china all the parts that he has to order are from china this thing does have this scooter does have 1448 miles now the last problem that it has is that now when he tries to charge it it used to charge at 58 volts now it only charges at 51 volts he lost half his battery charge after one year in order to replace that battery it is going to cost him four hundred dollars for a brand new battery so now he's got a scooter that only charges up to 51 volts instead of 58 volts. Now I'm sure the other problem that he had that I forgot to mention was that right out of the box, maybe after a few days, the original lights with the horns on them, they broke. One broke. And so he ended up having to buy these off of Amazon and they work awesome after I connected them for him. The only problem is now he doesn't have a horn, but these lights work great. Other than that, he's never had a flat. Uh, it rides, it goes 35 miles an hour. Uh, it doesn't shake. It's a very steady ride. The only problem is, is when you're braking, as these handlebars aren't tight, the stem will kind of go forward or come back, which is right now it's kind of tight. So it only moves a little bit. But when that boat gets loose, it moves a whole lot more. And if you're not paying attention to that locking mechanism, and if it slowly creeps up and slides up on you, then it starts moving even more. So it gets even more scarier. So the only main issue right now is really just the battery. It's a shame that he had to spend so much money for this scooter and only had it for a year and the battery only charges up to 51 volts. Compared to when, when it was brand new, it actually charged up to 58 volts. So I know the Xtron makes the exact same bike, except upgraded. Uh, they do have the Xtron, the Xtron 20. It's got lights underneath there. It actually has a handle, so you don't have to spend the extra $50 to buy a handle. And I'm not quite sure about the mechanism, but I do believe they use LG batteries. Uh, if you do decide to buy a very expensive scooter from AliExpress or anywhere else in China, make sure they're premium batteries because when you have a, when you have a battery this size and they go bad, they're really, really expensive to replace. This video was only to, just to inform you about the problems that you may have if you purchase a gentle bike X20.